The primary goals for a financial institution that participates in the Investment Connection Program are to fulfill their obligations under the Community Reinvestment Act, or CRA, and be responsive to the needs of their communities. That means they are looking for projects that align with one of the four community development purposes under the CRA. Where the majority of beneficiaries are low to moderate income individuals or families or geographies, small businesses or farms with revenue of $1 million or less, or the activity helps to stabilize or revitalize low to moderate income areas, distressed, underserved, or eligible disaster areas. In addition to meeting their CRA obligations, three things make a project attractive to a financial institution. Projects that provide a return or benefit to the bank will be a more attractive funding opportunity. Will your project contribute to growth in the bank's customer base? Will the bank see a financial return as a result of the project? Second, will the project provide CRA credit opportunities over an extended period of time? For example, will a loan renewal provide CRA credit opportunities for the financial institution in the future? And finally, if your project tells a comprehensive story of responding to community needs, it will be more attractive to a financial institution. What could this look like? A local nonprofit could receive a $50,000 working capital loan to provide vocational training to low to moderate income immigrants, the unemployed, and low to moderate income individuals who need retraining after occupational therapy. Or a community development financial institution might get a $2 million line of credit from a bank to make loans of $5,000 to $25,000 to small businesses in low to moderate income areas. To learn more about what a specific financial institution is looking for in a project, you can do some research. You can find the CRA performance evaluation for that institution online, or pick up an evaluation at a bank's branch location to see their rating, where they are lending, and what projects they've funded in the past. You can also meet with a banker and ask what they're looking for in a project. Or you could ask other community development organizations in your area about the financial institution. Have they ever received funding? What interests do the financial institutions have? You also might want to contact the funder to find out when the granting cycle starts and how to apply. This video series covers the steps along your road to building successful partnerships with funders. You've already learned what makes a project CRA eligible and what support from funders looks like. This video covered what a funder is looking for in a project. In the next video, you'll learn what a funder is looking for in a partner. And the final video covers how to make your pitch. To view those videos and learn more about the Investment Connection Program, visit stlouisfed.org forward slash IC. If you have a specific question, email the Community Reinvestment Initiatives team at the St. Louis Fed at investmentconnection at stls.frb.org.